is valorant stretching and struggling with lag and latency issue the solution might be easier than you think try these fixes and enjoy a stretching free game so to ensure your pc and work at their full potential you need to stay away from driver problems having them out of date can lead to poor performance and in-game errors so a quick and effortless way to always have well performance drivers is to follow this video step by step so number one you can go with the outbyte driver updater if you don't like the outbit you can also go with the cc cleaner go on the official website and simply you can go with the cc cleaner trial version okay don't go with the free free one will not provide you the update your drivers etc etc trial version will provide you to update your graphic drivers so you can go with the trial version after updating your graphic drivers you can just delete the cc cleaner and enjoy your game anyways it's just downloading let's move on the main question why is valorant stretching whether you call it stretching lag or latency the problem is always clear the game becomes less responsive especially in critical moments and you can get annihilated quickly as the enemy takes you down the keep clicking your mouse uh, or gamepad so, um, the reasons are the graphic driver is out of date vsync is not enabled in the game settings graphic settings in the game are set too high too many background apps and services running in the background and some personally tips to fix the structuring i'll show you those settings at the end but before let's move on the graphic settings um, graphic updates valorant is quite an immersive game and new updates to the game are quite graphic demanding that means that your gpu has to be working full time to keep up with the sheer numbers of characters and the waste world that you can interact with if you had just installed valorant or had recently installed in new update when the stretching started you will need to update your graphic drivers and here i'll show you how to do that just right click on this pc go into the properties and then device manager once you open the device manager simply you need to go here into the display adopters and make sure to update your graphic drivers that you are using the external one not the internal one in case if your internal one is enabled over here then go into the bios and disable your igpu plus uninstall this one or disable this one and restart your pc but disable does not work all the time whenever you restart again your drivers will come back anyways just disable your internal gpu from your bios settings and update your graphic drivers just go into the properties update your drivers search for automatically and sometimes it's not showing here so the best thing is if you are using nvidia then simply open the geforce settings over here and then search for the graphic updates just go into the drivers and just see here check for updates and make sure select here the game ready drivers not for the studio drivers so if it's already up to date now this time we need to turn on vsync now vsync is a short for vertical synchronizations it's technically term that refers to the technology behind keeping the monitor refresh rate is lockstep with the gpu frame rates as long as both are on the same page you won't have issues with delay screen sharing unresponsiveness or stretching sometimes vsync will be switched off by default to improve performance it's easy to turn on vsync in the nvidia or amd control panel so right click on your desktop and go into the nvidia control panel in nvidia settings so just go here into the manage 3d settings and here you need to find the vsync options the vertical synchronization and make sure turn it on the adoptive one is most uh, preferable so go with the adoptive option or just turn it on that will work best for you now in my case i'm not using this because i'm not facing uh, stretching or lag so i'll explain later for further about this but right now if you are facing stretching then enable it now close background apps 
that's the most important your valorant game might not be the only app or game running on your system besides the necessary apps and services your system needs other third party apps could be hanging your system resources this leaves little ram and cpu threads to handle the graphic intensive valorant game apps such as spotify nvidia game experience chrome firefox and cortana among other need to be shut down so for that just right click on your um, taskbar and then go into the task manager and now you can find here all the applications those are running on your background so you can simply right click on them and end task click on the windows icon go into the settings and then you need to find here the privacy turn these options off and then scroll down on the left side and find the background apps once you find over here by default it's turned on just turn these options off so there's a huge list of background services and applications you can just disable these services now some services are running on the background for that just click on the windows icon type ms config hit enter and this time you need to go here into the services hide all microsoft services now just stop all the unnecessary services like the google chrome nvidia frame view sdk intel content Pro protections cloudflare war tools asus com services so if these are not important for you just disable these services and hit apply once you've done this it will ask you to restart your pc but you can restart your pc later just disable it now once again go into the task manager this time go into the startup just click on the status so it will show you all the enable and disable services just disable all the unnecessary services again here the windows security is important vanguard is important for valorant real tech ad audio manager that's not important for me i'm disabling this one idm is not important so i'm disabling this one clownfish is important for me and uh, the spotify is not important for me so i'm just doing these settings for my myself you can also do it for yourself too now after closing all the services and applications from your background now let's move on the next step game settings now it's an important thing you need to know just launching here the valorant but before launching this valorant you need to just right click on this valorant go on the properties and find the valorant location once you go over there just click on the riot games go into the valorant live and here is the valorant just right click on this go into the properties this time compatibility and disable the full screen optimizations also click on the change high dpi settings just click here or oh, high dpi scaling override override high dpi scaling behavior scaling performed by the applications and that's it click ok apply ok and that's it now let's go into the game and let's do some further settings okay now there's two ways if you are using the nvidia to configure your game settings in game settings the first you can launch your game and the second one you can with just configure your game settings without launching the game now i'm launching here my game but let me show you the second step as well just alt plus enter to make sure the resolution on window and then just uh, you need to launch your geforce experience okay perform these settings before launching the game i'm just showing you here so that's why i'm showing both settings at the same time okay go into the valorant details and you can see here right now it's on optimal so we need to optimize these settings just click on the settings and improve to the performance to work to the performance hit apply so now this time it will give you the best settings for best fps and that's it close it and you will definitely face the difference after launching your game now in game if you go over into the settings just make sure to disable all these settings like show mature content and show spectator counts etc etc you can just enable these two options show bullet tracer and if you want spectator count as well otherwise just disable all the settings and then go into the video settings make sure always play on full screen not windows full screen that's important and here you need to select the fill one and video reflex low latency should be on plus boost and that's it now the main thing here you can see all the low settings in fact 
the anthroscopic filtering on one and all the other settings are just turned off you can also enable the bloom for better quality but i'm not recommending this just go with the lowest as possible and the one thing in general make sure to enable the raw input buffer so your mouse will register direct into the gaming server instead of the uh, pc like when you click something it will goes to your pc and then on the gaming server so when you turn this option on it will directly register on the gaming server so just turn this option on so that's the best option just go into the settings go into the videos now here people a lot of people are just confused why uh, which is the best option to set this option um like best fps for capping now in case if you are getting uh mostly 144 plus fps in fact in average so that in that case you can set here the 144 fps but in case if you are getting 144 the maximum fps then you need to set here the 120 fps and in case if you are getting 120 fps maximum then you need to select here the 60 fps so that's how actually the uh, fps work the capping fps work this function is totally based on your gpu like how much you are getting your uh, stable fps so just find that and cap it i hope this will work for you see you in the next video if you are still facing any issue just let me know in the comment section with complete details so i'll try to help you to fix your problem see you in the next video till then just take yourself allah hafiz bye bye